Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a video where we discuss the fact Sam Hornby has left Bradford City to join Colchester United on loan until the end of the season now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure you drop a like on it if you could try and hit 50 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload and make sure as well to get your thoughts on this departure down in the comment section down down below share the video around with your family and friends as well now it's certainly an interesting one we knew a goalkeeper would leave the club he looked very likely that it would be Richard O'Donnell joining Hartlepool United on a permanent transfer that never really seemed to happen Hartlepool were in for a few keepers in the end and in the end it looks like O'Donnell is staying I am currently recording this at nine o'clock on deadline day obviously we've already seen the news that Niall Canavan has left the football club as well my thoughts on him leaving will be out on Wednesday obviously it's not really ideal us playing a match the day after deadline day in terms of videos and when I have to get them out on all, all that sort of stuff so apologies over the next couple of days videos might come out a little bit later than usual obviously it's not an ideal time to be uploading this video I think it's going out at half 12 on Tuesday which is not really ideal I do apologize about it but there's not a fat lot I can really do let's get on with today's video though so make sure you drop a like and subscribe so Bradford City tweeted today at half past three saying breaking news goalkeeper Sam Hornby has today today joined Colchester United on loan until the end of the season all the best Sam the article does then read the six foot four inches stopper has made eight appearances in all competitions for the Bantams in the 2021-22 season and will spend the remainder of the campaign in Essex. The club would like to take this opportunity to wish Sam the best of luck at Colchester United for the rest of the season. So, short and sweet, Colchester obviously tweeted saying, welcome Sam Hornby. Colchester United have today completed the loan signing of goalkeeper Sam Hornby from Bradford City on a deal until the end of the season and they've done like a little highlight compilation. I mean, their article is not a very long one at all to say he's signed for the club, but it reads, use snap up Sam Hornby who turns 27 on Wednesday has signed a loan deal at the U's from Bradford City until the end of the season. He has made nine appearances for the Bantams this season, including keeping a clean sheet against the U's in the 0-0 draw at Valley Parade back in December, where... He did, you know, pick the ball up pretty much outside the area. Colchester, yeah, I think Hornby should have been sent off and Colchester should have been awarded a free kick, but we somehow managed to get away with that. He joined in training at Florence Park on Monday morning with his new teammates and he's expected to be in the youth squad that take on Rochdale on Tuesday night, subject to the paperwork being approved. If you want to sponsor Sam's kit, get in touch, etc. But um, yeah, for me personally, it does kind of make sense. Hornby joined the club in 2019. He's only made 24 appearances. He did have a loan spell. We filed for the second half of the 19-20 season. He played 16 times there, and then he's kind of been in and out of the team. He really has been battling for that number one shirt with Richie O'Donnell. Obviously, Derek Adams has decided between them that... O'Donnell and Hornby simply not good enough to be Bradford City's number one right now. Obviously, O'Donnell's out of contract in the summer. It looks like he's probably going to see out his contract then. Might become a coach. He might retire. I'm not really too sure. I absolutely love Richard O'Donnell, um, but I just think he is a little bit past it and he probably is better as a second or third choice. Even when he wasn't involved in the matchday squad, though, against Walsall and against Crawley at the weekend, he was still, you know, in the pre-match warm-up and he's still a great figure to have around the dressing room. Obviously, it's clear as day. Alex Bass is the number one. He's absolutely fantastic. And as much as he didn't have his greatest game against Crawley, Wall solid proved the qualities that he does have, so it does make sense. For me personally, obviously, as I said, O'Donnell's out of contract in the summer. Sam Holm is out of contract at the end of next season, so it does make sense, to be honest. He needs to go out and develop. He needs to get better, so fingers crossed he is going to be Colchester's number one. Do I think he is going to be Colchester's number one? Obviously, at the moment, it probably will be, because they've lost a couple of keepers to injury, suspension, and I think another one got recalled as well. Shamal George, for me, is a very good goalkeeper at this level. I don't think he's Alex Bass sort of standard, but I think he's decent, and from what I've seen, I'd probably say he's about the same ability as a Sam Hornby so why would you not play your own permanent goalkeeper to be honest so I mean Hornby's got I think he's got three games to prove himself I think the red card was a three game suspension so he has games to prove himself and he needs to do it early I've seen a lot of people on social media, especially Twitter, questioning this decision. And for me personally, I think it does kind of make sense. It's going to be very, very, very slim chance that Alex Bass doesn't play any games for the rest of the season. Obviously, we're out of all cup competitions. We are simply focusing on the league. Alex Bass has proven his head and shoulders pretty much above the other two. And if Hornby is going to come back to Bradford City in the summer, we need the number one goalkeeper. He definitely does need to improve if he does want to be battling for that number one shirt. Because I think we will be going in for a goalkeeper in the summer. So he is going to need to improve he's going to need to develop and he's not going to do that by sitting on our bench every week so it makes sense for him to go out and get game time in you know for a team in the same division as us so he's competing in a similar level will more than likely be in next season I can't really see us I mean 
this less than two hours left of the window right now at the time of recording obviously by the time this comes out we'll have seen a lot more development and all that sort of stuff so fingers crossed we've signed a center half a right back and another strike i mean we've been linked with nathan delfonso at the moment which I, th I think it'd been all right signing but another loan deal which would mean someone would then have to miss out every week it's just kind of baffling what's going on at the moment to be honest but sam hornby Overall, I think this deal does make sense. If you do think about it, he needs to develop. He needs game time. So for me personally, I, I wish him all the best. I've seen some people saying that he should have been Richard O'Donnell. He needs to get out of the club, all this sort of stuff. O'Donnell's been a fantastic servant for the club. So I don't agree with people saying that, you know, Hornby's going to come back in the summer and O'Donnell will be long gone by then. I've seen some people actually tweeting at Richard O'Donnell telling him to get out of the club. I, that is simply bang out of order. And you cannot call yourself a fan if you're telling somebody like a Richard O'Donnell who's, you know, given everything for the football club. Granted, he might not be a world beater but he's given absolutely everything which is an absolute minimum all that the fans can really ask for and the people are giving him all sorts telling him to get out of the club I just simply don't like that at all but that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always would be massively appreciated if you could try and hit 50 likes as I said at the start of today's video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload make sure as well to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Sam Hornby departing to join Colchester United United on loan until the end of the season. Share the video around with your family and friends as well. As I said, my thoughts on Niall Canavan will be out on Wednesday. If we make any more signings or departures, that will be out on Thursday. We might see some double uploads on Wednesdays and Thursdays and then the match preview will more than likely be out on Friday again. So apologies, but this kind of does usually happen at, towards the end of January when we have a lot of players coming in and out. I can't upload 30 videos a day, especially when I'm in college and that pretty much takes up my whole day on Mondays and Tuesdays. So it's not really ideal, but thank you for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I shall see See you all tomorrow. Well, no, it's actually later on today, isn't it, for the match day vlog. Peace.